family it's the mobile home diva and i just wanted to share with you my experience with clayton homes today so before i get into the video if you're not a current subscriber and you're interested in anything mobile home living mobile home cleaning cook with me's um diy's shopping hauls and mobile home tours make sure you hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit the notification bell so you're the first one to know when i upload a video okay all right so if you've seen any of my previous videos you probably saw the story time video if you haven't i'll link it in the icon above me sharing my experience with purchasing a Clayton Homes. Just to give you a little background, the, it was the second Clayton Homes dealership that really helped me and my husband, and not the first. That will be in full detail in the video. So Clayton Homes gave us a call to do a six month review. And you guys know that I'm very honest about um, my experience. And so they literally asked me pointed questions about my experience. And I wanted to share that with you because so many of the subscribers have said you should tell corporate office. Honestly, you guys, I had no intention. And I hope you can hear me. The dishwasher's going. My husband's bamming away outside on a project. So I really hope you can hear me and I don't have to record, re-record this. But I just want to say that I had really no intention of calling corporate office and talking about my experience. I had actually talked to Clayton Homes in Opelika, Alabama, where we got the manufactured home, this one. But I had no intention of just calling Clayton Holmes to like report my experience. So when they called me, I took it as maybe you should share it, you know. Um, but they had to come to me. I didn't go to them. That's the first thing. So we had been getting this call from Tennessee and it was an unknown number. And I wasn't accepting it because I get so many telemarketers throughout the day calling me about um extended warranty on my car but you're not calling from the place where i have my extended warranty calling me about a dream vacation that i've won calling me because i've won a walmart gift card and all i have to do is give them my debit card number so they can i can pay for shipping all kind of stupid stuff there's a, something going on with my social security number and it's going to be suspended just all kind of telemarketers so i didn't recognize the number and I, and I didn't accept. They called quite a few times. The last time they called, <clears throat> they left a message. So I called them back. And come to find out, they wanted to do a six-month survey or a six-month review, survey review to see how our experience was. And um, I was impressed with that, that they followed up. As you know, they and i've talked about it before they have followed up um after we got in the house after the house was uh delivered and set up they followed up to do a walkthrough which was very impressive so i was very impressed that they called after we'd actually been in the home for six months to see how things were going so i called him back and she told me that's what it was and the first three or four questions were really easy, but the last question was, um, I think she asked something about, um, it was very pointed about our experience. And so I went ahead and shared my entire experience with her. She took good notes. She was very empathetic and said she would follow up. Very impressed with that. So I really don't want to talk much about what they want to say, what they said. Really wanted to talk. I wanted to share that I had shared that experience. That's the first thing. 
that was really big for me. It was big for me because I'm the person and my husband's the person that if it's fixed, we leave well enough alone. So I just really wanted to talk about my feelings. And also I wanted to especially talk because I get so many letters and so many emails from people who are starting their mobile home buying journey or are in the process or are considering it. So I really wanted to talk about my feelings and why I think that it was important. Now that I've done it, I realized that it was important to share that experience. First of all, my feelings. I was really nervous about talking about it, but now that I have, I'm so happy that I did. I'm happy that I did because when you are paying your own money whether it's a little purchase or a big purchase, but especially for a home, a big purchase, a life-changing purchase. You deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. You deserve kindness. You deserve consideration. You deserve patience. You deserve respect right excuse the bones and the food and all of that i'm trying to eat some chicken and rice i made a big pot hearty pot, pot of chicken and rice um and it's really good um but yeah you deserve those things and if you're spending your money and you're not getting those things then you should spend your money somewhere else that's the bottom line that is the bottom line so I'm really happy that I shared that experience because someone higher than the person that treated us unkindly should know to prevent that from happening to somebody else. To course correct what has already happened. Um, I'm in human resources and a big part of my job is <clears throat> process improvement and so i finally get why it, it's important to share that even though i process improve all day long it's hard for me to if i'm if if the if the if the wrong was righted i let it go as far as my feelings are concerned i was very anxious when the question was first asked, and I've had a bit of anxiety about even reporting it to corporate, and that's why I haven't. But now that I have, I feel so much better. I feel that the second Clayton Holmes more than made up for our first experience. And I feel that I was treated with such kindness when I shared my experience that I have no regrets in sharing them. We, some of us, I, a lot of people say, I wouldn't buy a mobile home because you can't sell it. Most people, talking about me, but also talking for about a lot of people that I've talked to in this journey. Most people that are looking for a home are looking for, not looking to buy a home to sell it. They're looking for a home that they'll be able to enjoy for many many they can sell in a couple of years this is our forever home this is where we'll die this is where we'll grow old together um this is it unless something major in our life happens this is it um and i know a lot of people that have bought manufactured homes they have the same attitude and I talk to a lot of people that have manufactured homes that have the same attitude like this isn't about buying and selling later um, it's just a different mindset um, people just want a nice piece of land if possible in their own home and they want to be comfortable and they want to enjoy it they want what they want this is a big purchase so we deserve to be treated with respect. So 
If you are purchasing a home and you don't feel that you are being treated with respect, you have to course correct right then yourself. You have to examine what is being done or said to you and make a decision if you're going to allow it to continue, if you are going to nip it in the bud and continue with the process, or if you are going somewhere else. You deserve to eat, make either one of those choices, right? You deserve to be in control of what happens to you in that process, period. This is the home, We're, we purchased this home for us. Nobody can, could have told us where we were gonna be happy. That's our family, that's my viewers, that's our salesperson, our realtor, nobody. We had to decide what home was gonna make us happy and where, where we were gonna live and what we were gonna be okay with. Because ultimately, nobody has to live in that decision but us. So keep that in mind. If you are not in control of your purchase, now, granted, there's some things that happen outside of our control. We didn't wanna manage any of the, well, I take it back. I didn't want us to manage any of the setup and delivery. Because of our budget, we had to take the decks off the plate, off of the deal, and we had to be responsible for the decks. So instead of hiring someone, my husband did them himself. I wanted us to just allow them to do it all as a part of the deal. So that part, yeah, sometimes you're not able to control all of the things within reason, right? Maybe you have to make some changes to get what you want. The part I'm talking about is not that. Uh, maybe you wanted to take the sink out of the, you love the house, everything about the house. The only thing that you don't like about the house is the sink is in the island and you would prefer it to be under the window. And they tell you that because of the way the house is made, even if they built it, they wouldn't be able to do that. You have to decide, am I going to be okay with that? Can I live with that? Or do I need to get another house? That's not the walk away thing I'm talking about though. Sometimes we'll settle for that one thing that we would have preferred to be somewhere else and continue on. I'm talking about the respect factor. I'm talking about how you're talked to, how you're treated. I'm talking about the care that you're given through this buying process. All of that part should be respectful. And in the beginning, it wasn't like that for us. Again, if you haven't seen that video explaining what happened, I'll link it again in the iCard above. Go ahead and watch it, right? It's very informative about what happened with us and, and the decision that we had to make. Um, so I feel good about it, y'all. I just wanted to share with y'all that I finally talked to corporate. They um very empathetic. She took good notes. She paid attention to everything I said. Um, and I have no doubt that she will follow up based off of our conversation. Made me feel really good. I'm really happy that I made the decision to do that in the six month review. It also reminded me that maybe I should do a six month review of my own in the house. So that video is coming soon. I don't know when it's coming. I have a long list of videos that I should have made already. If I've told you I make a video about a subject, I will, I promise. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you'll probably see this after I start posting the tours of the new place that I'm going to, but tomorrow I'll be visiting visiting actually two manufacturer home centers in Georgia. One's about 56 miles from me and then the other's about 30 miles from there. 
So I'm traveling a little bit to get some home. Get some home tours those will be coming soon I still have some home tours that I haven't posted those will be coming soon I you know I've really been posting about my life personally and I you know I don't get as many views with the videos about my life personally as I do with the home tours but I want to give it time because I want to vlog my life I've got to go help my husband outside but I just wanted to share that with you. Let you know I got some more videos coming soon. Just check in. Let you know I'm doing okay. I feel real good. About talking to corporate. Really feel like a weight off my shoulders. Because I didn't want them to see it on a video. Which they may have. I don't know. I know... The manager of the Clayton and Oprah Lyca watches my videos. And I know that Clayton Corporate has seen some of my earlier videos, but I don't know if they're still watching. So, I wanted them to hear it from me. So, I feel real good that I was able to do that. I'm thankful to you guys for all that you do. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to head outside and go help my honey buns. How about that? You guys have a good rest of your day. It's Friday. I'm off from work. Traveling tomorrow. Going to relax for the most part of the weekend. See you guys in the next video. Have a good night. I don't have to party To have fun, you see Some say life is boring, but I disagree.